This video is brought to you by Ravenscraft Realty of Northeast Missouri. So if you fellas live in Northeast Missouri, you know that right now is that time of year where it can be 45 degrees in the morning, and then by the end of the afternoon it's 75. So it puts you in kind of an odd predicament as far as what to wear or clothing. So we're rocking the uh, Nutrien High Viz shirt that I stole from them three years ago, and we're rocking the $12 tractor supply pullover. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting on dad and we're gonna go check some corn. We got our shelled ears, we got our ski soda, we got the corn, got the tester, got the puppy dog. We're gonna see if the corn's dry or not. My favorite part of testing corn is hand shelling it. Oh, the test that I was really stressed out about last week got an 85 on it. I'm happy. And the other test that I was stressed out about, but much less so, I got a. What did I get on that test? Like a. Got an, another 85, so that's a win for me. Anytime I can get something that passes the class, it's alright. Working on the dryer. We shelled some corn yesterday. Didn't take any video yet, but had a sensor problem this morning. We got that fixed. Now the dryer hasn't lit off yet, so I'm gonna try to clean up this fancy spark plug. Hopefully that takes makes it work. If you've never been inside a tower dryer, it's uh it's really dark when it's full of corn. Turn fights off. That's what you see. Yeah, I took a few drives, got the burner cleaned up, plug cleaned up. Yeah, I finally got the burner big night. Been fighting this for the last day. That's kind of one of your first, your startup problems you get. Getting it all rolling. So now it's 3.30. Go try to shell some corn. Finished up our first field of corn. Right here at the shop. So I got rid of my privacy fence too early in the year. Oh well, and, uh, get back up here, drop the head off, and go back to cutting some beans for today and tomorrow, and then switch back to corn. Everything's doing really good so far, can't complain. While I'm waiting on my uh, soybeans here to get the dew burn off of them, I'm gonna hop on the 4320 and go fix the uh, giant ruts that I created this spring when I planted this uh, six acre field by the shed. There's a uh, very wet spot north of the barn, and uh, of course the spring it was kind of wet, and uh, I mudded through it. Shouldn't have done that, but uh, thank goodness I have this wonderful Case IH disc to help fix it. Well, fix it. Well, I'm gonna start cutting beans here at this uh, this farm here by West Ely, and I figured I'll come and cut some heads off shatter cane because it does have some shatter cane in this corner of this field. So I thought, you know, one plastic bag will get all of it. Chock full. Nope. There's still more out there. But luckily, that's the only field with significant shatter cane pressure. So uh, the rest of it, nice and clean. So I hope I can keep up the 60 bushel bean trend. If I do, I'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna get this combine here started up and get it fueled up and deft up and... And we're gonna go cut some beans. So this will be my last farmer beans. So after this, uh, I'm done with my soybeans. Of course, we gotta, got a lot more left. That's for sure. Almost there. Head is on. Now I just have to get in the field. Well, what do you guys think of my bean rows that I shot with the old 4020? I think they're pretty straight. 
but you know what? The auto steer line is a lot straighter. I'm cutting them at an angle just because, I don't know, it's kind of a pain to keep it between the rows uh, manually. That's what I did on the big field over there. That's why I didn't video anything, but uh, they're running eh, maybe not quite as high as I wanted to, but these are good beans and I'm calling this a win. Cutting away, taking 14 rows at a time here. 35 foot head, 35, divide, 35 feet times 12, divided by 30 equals 14. So that's how many rows we're taking. I just got another, well, like a little itty bitty strip right there. And uh, then this place will be done. It'll be my first year out here and I'm so far I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the soil types out here are not the same as the other two pla or the other three places that I farm, so can't expect the same yield, but it would have been nice. Well, this is what this year has led to. Grain in the trailer. Really no different than any other year, I guess. So a couple things. This farm needs lime. I probably should plant no row beans, and I should probably park the six row. But I'm not going to, because that, that, that wouldn't be any fun, right? Well, I have to say farewell to combining now for a while because that was the last of the early maturity beans that we had out. Planted uh, three ones and three fives in, uh, well, like the, fir the first beans we planted anyway, but uh, that's the last of them. So now we're going to wait a while before the three nines start to get ready and then we can cut beans again. And that means that I'm going to be out of a job for at least the next weekend, which fortunately means that I can... Uh, uh, figure out the injectors and everything on the 7020 and the 4320. Well, while I was waiting for my man Phil, I got my art project rebooted a little bit. Definitely not the best paint job in the world, and it very well might be the worst. Oh, yeah. Main goal here was to make the uh, rusty rim uh, yellow. Didn't care, really, didn't really care if it looked fantastic or not, but uh, it's yellow, so eh, it'll be okay. I got one more, and then these are my fancy dual tires. Well, they've got a fair bit of tread left on them. They're not perfect, but they're duals. Well, I've got a chance here. I'm gonna video some of the corn shelling stuff because I'm not actually in a combine right now, which is kind of a, feels kind of weird. Just got a truck pulling in right there. That's one of the, uh, the new fancy automatic or automated shifting uh, Kenworth. We got Justin running the grain cart and dad's in the combine. And uh, our man Phil is here running a truck, and then one of my buddies from school is also running a semi. Just opening up end rows, the fun stuff. Corn out here is running pretty good. Ah, guess who's finally showing corn? Not dad. I guess he figures if I learn how to do this, then he can go on vacation. Right? Probably not. You gotta make some money first. Got a supervisor. I don't know. The new guy always has to wear high viz. Actually, this was just the first shirt I grabbed out of my closet. Shelling corn is pretty fun. This is the first extended amount of time I've been on the combine shelling corn. As in driving the combine. I've spent plenty of time right there. Dad and I just took a little while to eat supper. It's about nine o'clock and uh, I'm gonna take my short load of beans over to ADM and Quincy and uh, I'm gonna know in about an hour what my uh, farm of beans made. So I'm excited to find out, but I anticipate it being low 50s. But uh, like I said before, that farm needs lime, needs fertilizer, so. Pretty good, right, Mary? Mary. I love my dog. And I love having a mom that makes lasagna for me. She's awesome. I love my mom. Now. Here we are, ADM. Oh, they must know I'm coming because there's no line. How come you uh, uncrank the, the hopper on my truck of beans? I don't know. No one else is going to do it. Alright, fair enough. I'm just a lazy road crop farmer. Hey, listen to this.
So I ran the math on it. We got uh, 972 bushels on the first load and 339 on that one. So do some division, comes out to just over 50. Like I said, not quite what I wanted, but it's okay. Ah uh, yes, a noble journey, most slow, with the backhoe. Oh, parking brake was on. Yeah, that was a pretty easy drive. I think I need two bins like that. That would be just about right for my operation. But this is the bin site down here in the bottom where we're drying our corn that we're shelling at. And uh, there's a bunch of bees wings that are accumulating like over there somewhere. And uh, you can use the backhoe at some point this week to uh, pick them all up and get rid of them. Yep, it's a beautiful October day here in Northeast Missouri. And there was something wrong with the wet bin. Not sure what, but there's the massive pile of bees wings. Uh, I got I got to babysit a sump pump here, draining out uh, the uh, unloading area on our bins here and uh, in preparation for running a new tile to keep the thing drained and keep water out of there to begin with. And I figured, well, why not walk up to the top of the lake, show you the view. And here it is, pretty scenic. If it isn't the artificial highest place in the county, it's very, very close. And way, way, way over there is one of our neighbors in Illinois, his bins. We're getting things fueled up here to start the day about one o'clock, kind of a slow Sunday. So our guy Justin had to go do something this morning. So I'm gonna take his job run the auger wagon and dad's gonna run the combine here for a little while. And my sister's gonna come and I'm gonna attempt to get her trained on how to run the auger wagon and then uh, I think then I'm gonna jump in the combine and run that some more so I can get the hang of it because I will eventually have to do that job, like by myself, for real. Grain carton. Oh, I'll unload it on a truck. I still got what it takes. And look at these majestic creatures called cows that uh, every girl I've ever been interested in seems to love that I do not have. But it, man, it'd be a shame if uh, there's some girl that needed cows hauled and uh, needed a 2005 Dodge Ram three quarter ton pickup that's uh, uh, got a creek cab and eight foot bed that uh, I can haul cows with. Looks like my man Justin has the job of teaching my sister how to run the grain cart today. And since our guy, Phil, is not back yet to drive a truck, Dad's turning me loose, shelling corn. First time. Let's hope I don't break anything. Or miscount a row. That would be embarrassing. Well, I guess this is what shelling corn by myself is like. Not, I don't know, it's different from cutting beans. A lot more unloading, especially in, uh, you know, 200 plus bushel corn. In beans, you can kind of very slowly watch the grain tank fill up, but in corn, especially good corn, it's like whoop. So I'm glad that we have a good auger wagon operator and truck drivers to keep up with us. And I'm glad that I was trusted. Maybe it was a good idea, maybe it wasn't, to run the combine all by myself. Oh no, my sister's driving the auger wagon next time. Ella's doing it. She's carting and she's doing a good job. Very proud. Extremely proud, in fact. She did good at four miles an hour, so now we're gonna try five. She did good. Very good. We're actually just about done with this farm. We got a couple more passes left. And given that it's a weekend, and it's Sunday, guess where I have to go tonight? That's right, Columbia. But somehow, us clowns have managed to run the circus for the whole afternoon, so uh, didn't break anything, didn't have any spills. Yep, that's a successful day. I'm happy. And that's all she wrote. Finished, we're done. At least with this farm. We've got many, many more to do. Ooh, it folds too? This is nice.
goodbye, puppy. You're such a good girl. And so begins my noble journey to the large city of Columbia. Honestly though, the longer I'm there, the smaller Columbia seems. I know that sounds weird because it's a city of 100,000 people, but you know, it really doesn't feel that big now. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't somehow catch the uh, 10 stray bean plants right here at the edge of the grass. Just gonna kick these down so it looks a little bit better and then so I can sleep well tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, if you did like what you saw, you should subscribe, stick around. Oh yeah, we also hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday morning. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is the combine. It's going to sit here for a week or so before we get some beans that are actually ready again. So uh, by the time I get back next weekend, hopefully we have some more beans ready to cut, but I'm highly doubting it. But uh, I guess that's it for this one, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.